Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my new video. Um, yeah, long time no video. I promised to upload a video about my favorite jeans. I'm very sorry that I yeah, didn't do that in the last months, but I was very busy and yeah, a lot of traveling stuff. So um, we have our new office and hopefully we can create here more video stuff very soon. And today I will talk about my favorite jeans. Why I'm talking about jeans? Jeans is a very difficult topic. It's uh, very hard to find the jeans for me as well because I always have problems at my calves, the knees, uh, yeah, the upper legs. Um, I don't like if the jeans is too skinny but too wide is also not good. So it's, it's very hard and um, yeah, when I was younger I bought a lot of diesel jeans. Um, they are so expensive. I would never buy diesel jeans again but um, yeah, they are, um, the, the fit is quite okay, but I can give you some recommendations from me that um, you can buy jeans very much cheaper and also nice quality and a good fit. So let's start. I have one black jeans, I'm wearing one black jeans and a lot of bright blue jeans. And we will take some measurements because in my opinion, the measurements of the leg opening and um, the calves is most important to have a great fit. So let's start. Um, I would also talk about the quality because there are differences between qualities with thick material, thin material, which is better for cutting, distressing and everything. So um, yeah, let's start with the jeans I'm wearing. It's from Zara, it's probably the jeans which you see the most on my Instagram pictures. Um, I bought it two years ago and it's my favorite jeans. It's a black jeans. I cut it by myself here and um, I have taken the measurements of the leg opening and it's 15 centimeters. I usually um, have different jeans for Chelsea boots and sneakers. When I'm wearing Chelsea boots, I take the leg opening very, uh, very thin, like 15 centimeters, something like that, that it's very, very tight around the Chelsea boot. And um, what I don't like, I see it so often, is when people rolling up the jeans uh, top of the, the Chelsea boots. And um, please don't do that. That's, that's not cool and it looks terrible. So. Wear your jeans over your Chelsea boots, please. And um, yeah, the jeans is from Zara. It's 15 centimeter the leg opening, and it's a little bit stretchy, like 1% uh, elastane. I will talk about the, the amount of elastane in wool a little bit later because it's very important for the fit. But um, this one is one of my favorite jeans. So Zara, it costs about 39 euros, something like that. Very cool. So the next black one is from Zando Paris. I bought it one year ago. It's a distressed jeans here, the knees, and um, it costs about 100 euros. The quality is very thick. It's much thicker than the Zara, and it, it, feels, it feels better. So it feels much more quality, and um, the fit is also very nice, but I need to cut the length. It's a little bit too long. I'm wearing size 32, 32, but when I'm wearing it on sneakers, I love it if it's a little bit shorter, so I have to change it. <coughs> Sorry. And um, <coughs> when we have a look at the, the amount of wool and elastan, let me check. It's 2% elastan and 89% cotton, so 2% elastan. I would recommend to check if there is how much amount of elastane is inside and that is not more than 2%, maximum 2%, better 1%. Because if there is more than 2% elastane, it's too stretchy, it look like, looks like a leggings or something like this. So um, have a look at this one, the hang tag inside and um, there is written the, the amount of elastane and it should be 2% or less. So Sando Paris, very nice jeans. Have a look online. The, I have the same one in bright blue, so they have more colorways and I like that, really nice. So, 
maybe my oldest dreams. Um, have a look at my last pictures. Uh, if you see a blue distress jeans, it's always this one. Um, it's made by myself, so it's a H and M jeans originally. And the cuts here at the knees um, are made by myself, so I can do a video how to cut it, how to distress the jeans, but it's it's not not that hard. But it's the perfect jeans for a distressed look is thick. So it's a very thick jeans. Um, it has 1% elastan inside. It's uh, I'm not sure which kind of it's a skinny low waist, skinny low waist and size 32, 32. So but it's HM changed the, the fit of the skinny low waist. The newer skinny low waist are much skinnier than the old one. So this one is not that skinny and there's not so much elastane inside. If you're buying now a skinny low waist, it's much more elastane and it fits more like a leggings. So I would recommend if you are looking for a jeans which has thick material, which you want to distress, which has a nice colorway in blue, you should go for H&M, but you should not buy a skinny low waist. You should buy, and now have a look, the slim low waist. This is a slim low waist. I love this one. It's a little bit different the colorway, but also a very nice colorway. And the only thing you have to do is you have to go to your tailor and say, please change the, the bottom of the jeans, like um, the leg opening and the, maybe the first, let's see, the first 30 centimeters of the end of the jeans. The only thing you have to do is go to your tailor and let him So now my recommendation, if you're not going for a skinny low waist, because the new skinny low waist from H&M are too skinny, go for a slim low waist. So H&M slim low waist, they have more than one colorway. This is a brighter colorway, bright blue, and the fit is awesome. The fit is really nice, the upper legs fits perfect, but I'm wearing, I'm wearing one size um, down then in the skinny low waist I'm wearing 32 skinny low waist and 31 slim low waist because they are not that slim and I always go to my tailor and he changes the end of the jeans for me like the leg opening to let me see 15 centimeters like 15 centimeters and I change always the first 30 centimeters the end of the jeans like the maximum is 16 centimeters so it goes very slowly wider very slowly and this is very important if you want to wear these jeans to boots um, I don't like it uh, unfortunately I'm not wearing boots right now but I don't like it if you're wearing boots and the jeans is white on top of the boots so the jeans has to be very slim and then it goes maybe a few centimeters over the boots and then it looks perfect so please see that you when you're wearing boots the slim has to be very tight at the end of your leg so if you're wearing sneaker it's not that hard you can roll it up you can wear it more casually more more yeah relaxed fit and, for sneakers, okay. So, slim low waist, H&M, big recommendation. I think 30 euro, something like this. The new skinny low waist, you have to check it, try it, but I don't like it, it's too skinny. And then the knee and the calves are like, look like sprayed on, it's, it's not that cool. So, what else? Uh, I also love to wear Levis jeans. Um, I will tell you the models of the Levis jeans I'm wearing currently. I always wear blue jeans from Levis. I also have one black jeans. Um, I will tell you the number later. But um, yeah, the quality is nice. It's much thicker material than, than for example, Zara or H&M. They cost a little bit more, but Levis has a nice quality and I can really recommend Levis jeans. So um, this one is a 501 skinny. It's a new model, um, 501 skinny, as I said, 
I'm wearing size 32 and um, but I also changed the end of the jeans. I always do this. And the leg openings is leg openings again 15 centimeters. And um, when I go up like 27 centimeters for example, it's 60. So it goes very slowly wider. And I love to wear this kind of jeans to boots. Um, it's also jeans which I would like to, uh, which I like to wear to sneakers. So um, one of my favorite jeans, the 501 skinny from Levis, 100 euros, something like this. Many colorways, but I like the bright blue one most. Next one, also Levis. Um, I bought it two weeks ago, and I didn't know that Levis has this kind of fit. It's a tapered fit, like wider at the um, upper side of the, of the of the jeans and very slim when you go down so it's the 512 i don't know the exact, the exact name what's the exact name where is this written five oh no he's levis advertising uh, i'm not 100 percent sure guys but it's a 512 tapered fit something like this I can I will link the the jeans down in the description but it's a 512 I'm wearing size 31 so it's a little bit wider than the 501 skinny so I, in the 501 skinny I have 32 this one is 31 and um, yeah I really like this jeans. I didn't change anything so it's the original version and um, most time I wear, uh, I'm wearing this model to sneaker and I bought it also in black and the black version is also very nice so Levis 512 and 501 skinny big recommendation both around 100 euro and currently it's a sale maybe you have a look online you will find it much cheaper so so guys in a sense the short comparison of everything I, I said is my favorite jeans are mostly from Levis, H&M, Zara and um, yeah that's pretty all. I also have Saint Laurent jeans, Gucci jeans, but honestly, I don't know if it's worth it to pay five or six, seven, eight hundred bucks for jeans. The fit is not better, the quality is not better, sometimes the fit of a cheaper jeans is much better. So in my opinion, the fit of a jeans and the quality is much more important than the brand. So in my opinion, you should or you can pay up to 150 euro for a nice, good fitting jeans. It's totally okay, but if you pay more, it's up to you. So, um, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And yes, I hope in the future there will be a lot of more videos. You can please also write down in the comments if you want me to talk about something else like sneakers boots i already talked about boots so anything else whatever you want so um, i hope you like it give me this one please and yeah now back to work in the office have a good day guys bye bye the i don't know booty <laughs>